welcome to Laptop Lifestyle. Wondering what steps to take when angel investing? Where should you look? What questions should you ask them? How can you tell a good investor from a bad one? Luckily for you, Laptop Lifestyler, here are the things you need to know about finding and choosing an angel investor for your startup. If you want more of this content, subscribe to the Laptop Lifestyle YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. What is angel investing? Angel investors invest in startups, providing them with capital in exchange for equity. They do not have voting rights in the company and typically only provide the startup founder with capital. Angels usually operate on their own, but it is not uncommon for multiple angels to join forces and form a syndicate if they're investing together. Angels can offer valuable insight to entrepreneurs, making them great advisors. They have the skills and experience that can help bring out the best and the business they are investing in. You can find angel investors with the help of networking, mentors, and business events. If you have already decided that you want to use an angel investor, the next step is to find them. For those of us not connected with a network of startup investors or wealthy people in general, it may be difficult to know how to start. Here are 8 places to find angel investors for your startup. AngelList is a company that connects startup with investors and funding. It's primarily used by tech startups to get investment and it's been known to be very reliable in the past. You can create a profile that reflects your startup to be in contact with others and make them aware of what you're looking for. The Angel Capital Association specializes in early seed investments. Through direct access to a full directory of potential investors, it is easy to get involved with ACA. Investing in new startup companies can be done with ease and trust because the angel investing company is close-knit, keeping investors in contact with one another for future partnerships. Angel investors like Gust help make the vetting process quicker. Angel investors on Gust are vetted and highly accredited, so you can trust them. You'll still want to research any potential partner before working with them. Gust is your partner in strategy if you're looking for funding. They can help you figure out the best strategy to get the money you need. Angel Forum connects startups and investors and boasts experienced professionals who can lead you to successful investments in startups. The Angel Investment Network is a US-based company where business owners can connect with investors. There are 285,542 investors available in their directory for connections. Investors can find your pitch and contact you directly to give you advice or invest in your business. After registering, you can build a pitch inside the site and publish it live on the site. This is a great supplementary option to extend your reach. One way to make your connections with potential investors is through social media. Twitter seems to be a popular place where founders of startups can make contact with potential angel investors. To find investors for your company on social media, start by talking about your goals and what you're doing with the company. If that builds an audience and makes it easier to connect with investors, then they may reach out to you first. In-person networking events are the best ways to meet potential advisors and people in your community who match your potential investor criteria. Search around in your local area. If you believe in your startup and want to optimize your network, friends and family are an effective option. It's important to weigh the pros and cons of accepting investments from friends or family before deciding. If you're unsure, don't take an investment from friends or family unless you know you can cope with the consequences. Before you meet potential angel investors, be sure to evaluate what you value and what you want from them in order to find the perfect match. These are a few things to consider before meeting with them. In order to find the most suitable investor, start by looking towards those who have been involved in a similar industry as you. 
for example, if your company is in the technology sector, then an investor with previous experience in this sector will be much more appropriate than someone who is primarily assisted within the healthcare industry. You will be more inclined to invest and you could be a great advisor as you have experienced working with startups. Investing Experience it is worth investing with someone who has experience as a first-time founder. They may be able to offer more helpful advice. Finding an investor should also include looking at their past investments to determine how they will pan out. Accreditation is not the key factor, but instead, it is how valuable the investment will be. Financial Stability when dealing with an angel investor, ensure that they have enough money to give and are not concerned about low-risk investments in the future. A founder should not have to worry about users giving them money that they might need soon. Mentorship Ability An angel investor can help you by guiding you through the difficult startup world. Pre-seed and seed rounds if you are a first-time founder, they can also serve as an advisor to your startup. If you are looking for an advisor, it is a good idea to ensure they are willing to do so. But when you find the right one, it can make your decisions much easier knowing you have experienced minds to consult with. Once you have made contact with some potential investors, it is time to figure out which one is the best for your startup. Get References you should always check with references and follow up on the investments of your partnership. Conduct research on the potential partners to figure out how they vetted for investment and what their process is like. Investors can be found either online or offline, but it may take up to six months for you to find the perfect match. Align goals with your investor. When you find investors, talk about similar goals to see how aligned you are on the future. This includes the amount of money needed, equity, investment time frame, and decision-making control. Setting goals at the start is important to growing a startup. You should work on objectives that help you get to the point of an exciting investment by the angel. Make a strong connection. Discussing with your angel what they are looking for can help them decide how closely they will be involved. Angels may get involved by providing advice and help, or they may want to be a silent contributor who invests and doesn't step in. It is important to discuss before your angel commits whether they will be advising as an advisor or be a silent partner. Treat it as an interview process. Put patience as an important factor and treat each call with investors as an interview. Only work with people that can match your vision and scale it into reality. When you have a prospective buyer, take notes during the call, plan ahead of time, and research on them. How to track your angel investor engagements When doing outreach with investment opportunities, always track your leads and make sure you have completed interactions with them. If you are through the funding process, we recommend that you establish a pipeline to track investors appropriately. You can start by inputting leads into your pipeline using the resources mentioned in this guide. When tracking conversations you've had with angels, you need to find a system such as a spreadsheet, CRM, or both. One efficient way to fill your pipeline is to search for leads with relevant investor experience that have a specific location or funding amount. To save time, you can shorten your search by looking for investors in the same industry as your startup. The sale ecosystem simplifies the process of your investor outreach. Spend some time with smaller brands and start working your way up to the bigger ones. Label the investors you're trying to reach by low priority and high priority so that you only have this information and work on the right people. With additional calls, you can predetermine what questions they will ask and prepare your responses in advance. Finding your angel investor To raise capital, you'll have to build a network and vet potential angels. This process is stressful for first-time founders who have no experience in raising capital. 
Start your free 30-day trial for Finmark today and make more accurate financial projections by planning for the future. These tools can help manage your finances and create a healthy foundation from which to grow your startup with. So to get an investment, find your local angel investors. He or she will be happy to support you. To do this, look at websites that list angel investors. AngelList is one of the major websites for angels, but you need to make sure that you go through the process of getting listed. To find angel investors, there are two main features. The first is a database of investors to find them, and the second for people to get on this list is for funding. As long as you have a good first message, 50% of angel investors will make contact with you to find out more about your business. Vivino is the globe's biggest wine app and wine community with 50 million users across the globe. It has raised tens of millions of dollars with plenty of them from angel investors. It has raised money from people like NBA all-star Carmelo Anthony and Janice Friss, co-founder of Skype as an investor in Vivino. Janice actually joined Vivino at a very early stage wherein there was not much product. Now let's have a look at the angel databases. I found two particularly useful Investor Hunter and Twine's mega list of investors. These can be hard to find but they are worth the extra time spent searching. There are thousands of angel investor groups around the world. Some are connected to universities and invest in deals through things like I use Angel Network. However, if you can't find a local investment group, just ask an investor and they'll be able to offer suggestions. Pitch night events are a great opportunity to practice pitching before venture capital meetings. It can also be an excellent way to meet angel investors as they often attend to these events. Here is a helpful tip. If you have been thinking about launching an event such as a startup, and there are some angel investors you would like to let know about it, you can do so by telling everyone. Be sure to promote your event on as many social media platforms as possible, and tell everyone else in person too. A pitch story should be concise, easy to understand, and relatable. Telling an angel investor about yourself is hard, so keep it short and concise. You can also find them on LinkedIn at the first three levels of their advanced search results. If a city has a university in it, you are more likely to find an angel investor than if it doesn't. Use LinkedIn to contact angel investors, but be sure not to spam them. Your first message should be respectful and reach out to them specifically as someone who needs their help rather than mass mailing them. For investors, it's easy to get their attention by crafting the right message. The best way to do so is through a Facebook message or email. You are guaranteed to be unsuccessful if you send long messages using other methods, such as SMS text messages or phone calls unless it's a last resort. To get in touch with influencers, very few like Facebook messages because it's private and intrusive. When people do it, the Facebook message is not a no-go. This group also includes LinkedIn messages. One of the best ways to contact an angel investor is through an introduction. But introductions can be hard to come by. The second best way is bumping into them at a conference or event. Investors prefer this pickup method because it takes courage and allows for a quick elevator pitch to occur. As always, the best way is to contact investors through social media channels, although try not to do more than two things at once because it will not give you as much exposure on any one channel. If a person is messaging someone five times on five different social networks, they may be bothered. What you should put in your first message is the least important thing, traction, and then the more important things that are needed. If you want attention with your business, that's going to be hard anyways, so traction would be less important. Be sure to include why the product is key and how it will help solve a problem, 
as well as what makes your team uniquely positioned to do this. Spend most of your time on the product, what problem it solves, and what makes your team different or better than any others. In order to get an investment, there are a few other tips that can help. First, be sure to be specific in what you want and build your network by connecting with people in the industry. The fastest way to get your startup investment is by networking with people in your industry. Building relationships will lead to opportunities for you and your business. Networking Begin to look for investors by using your own network. When it comes to working with family and friends, you need to make sure that they have the skills that will be helpful for the business. Cash shouldn't be the only thing they bring to the table. Tell everyone in your network, you never know someone might know someone who knows someone that invested before. Therefore, try to expand your network by attending trade shows in your area or by meeting other industry leaders at similar meetups. Connecting with angel investors is a great way to promote your ideas and find opportunities. Entrepreneurs may be able to share advice about angel investors and entrepreneurs. Investors from a similar company to your own are more likely to be interested in investing in you. They will know your product and market and are ready to invest early on. And that's it for this video, Laptop Lifestyler. Remember to subscribe to our channel and if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person as a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon!